what he was able to do to step over those blue bombers and get the guy who really wanted. Jamar Westerman is a good football player. And, and, and fans asked me, uh, just at the grocery store yesterday, uh, even at least. So, Coach, do you think Jamar's going to play? I'll tell you right now, if he stays healthy and he has a good camp, he's going to play. You're going to see him on this field making plays for us. These guys that we just drafted are athletes who have football intelligence and are tough. And that's exactly what we're part of our team. And I would be remiss if I did not mention also the great coaching staff that I have a privilege to have working under me. Folks, let me tell you something. As long as I've been in this business, this coaching staff that I have, it's a privilege for me to say to you as part of our organization that those guys are the best. When you look at what Sean was able to do in our offense and with Travis, when you look at Dan Durant with the best of what he does, you look at Kelly Bates and Travis Small office, we're bringing a ton to the, to the players as experienced guys themselves from this league. When you look at the defense, uh, when, I, when we were able to get Rich the best of what he does, and we're able to maintain and keep Mark Washington, one of the best of what he does, and we're bringing in the future possible all favor the NFL and the coach of Carl Harris to make sure that that front and that's all he's going to do because it's such a big part of that. You look at all success. All these things happen for a reason. We have a great staff in place. And now when we move forward and we go to training camp, I hope you can see some of the folks out there. It's going to be a tough camp. It's going to be a camp that we're going to work on the tempo. We're going to make sure that we figure out exactly how it is we're going to start as fast as we can and do it right from day one. Last year we learned a tremendous lesson. Anything can be done if you stick to it and stick together with good people who work hard and have character. But we're going to try to win a few more. We're going to try to win a few more. Not being about making promises, but I'm being about making promise that we are going to work extremely hard. We're going to prepare. We're going to shoot for excellence. And these players are going to hear it every single play. It's never good enough. Let's look to be better over and over and time in and time out and look to improve up where we're going. Um, so as I bring this to conclusion, I want you to remember this. This is not our team. This is the team of the entire province and city. You guys are just a big part of it. One thing I share with some people is this. If you turn around to your friends and you say, I'm going to work 190, 189 days in a row for the day off, you said that to your wife's spouse, friend, they look at you and go, you're crazy. Well, that's what everybody in this organization does. They work day in, day out. Coaches tirelessly. Players staying fit, putting their bodies at risk to be the best football player and best football team they can. Remember, these people are working extremely hard for you. You're a tremendously big part of what we do. We need you. We want you to be as loud as possible. And I want to thank you for what you guys do because there's days it's not easy. With your support and your help, we're going to reach the top of the mountain again. So I thank you for being with us guys today, and we're going to have an outstanding 2020. Thanks for watching.